Are we kidding? Are we kidding? I hope you all saw the video from yesterday. This is the new merch design, limited edition, just for celebration month. You will not be able to get this design again after the 31st of August, okay? 31st of August, it's gone. So you better get it while you can. Long sleeve hoodie, tank top, t-shirt. You better go run and get this while you can. Lots of colors. It's not just a blue scheme. It's not black and just one. Lots of colors. We've got this. We've got yellow. We've got red. We've got purple. We've got pink. We've got the. I think the only thing we don't have is orange because this on top of orange looked actually pretty bad. So <laughs> that's the only color we don't have. Go get this. This was designed by Haley. Guys, Haley designed this for me. It's in collaboration with Haley. So please, please, please go buy it. I am so obsessed. Um, and also as a heads up, this is all I'm gonna be wearing. Literally all I'm going to be wearing Celebration Month is the three versions of this I have. I'm probably gonna buy more, honestly, cause I'm obsessed. So probably just the three versions of this I have for the most part are what you're gonna see this whole month and I don't care. Okay, let's get going. Let's start celebration month. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Mail to the Chief. Mail to the Chief is a 2000 television release. It's written and directed by Eric Champnella, cinematography by Albert J. Dunk, editing by Jeff Gorson, and it. the music is by Peter Bernstein. Eric Champnella is best known for Cancun, Alex and Me, Mr. 3000, and The Old Man in the Studio. The rest of the crew I've covered in previous videos. They'll be listed and linked in the description. The film stars Bill Switzer, Randy Quaid, and J.J. Stalker. Bill Switzer plays Kenny, and is best known for Mobile Suit Gundam Seed, Mummies Alive, Eerie Indiana, The Other Dimension, and Locked in Silence. Randy Quaid plays President Osborne, and is best known for Brokeback Mountain, Independence Day, Kingpin, and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. J.J. Stalker plays Mike, and is best known for Sue Thomas, FBI, Animorphs, Goose bumps and this. For those who may not know, this film is about a president who is very out of touch with the American people and he's running for re-election and he's down because uh, people think he's like kind of smug and pretentious. So he joins a chat room to see what people are thinking about him and ends up talking to a 13 year old boy named Kenny who gives him actually like really good advice. So then he brings Kenny in as an advisor and he starts to win in his election. <laughs> This film was very 90s and very like directed at kids, but not like actually how kids are, if that makes sense. Kenny was very believable as a, like a 13 year old kid who was smart and funny, but I don't know, the president was a joke. Like it was like what adults think kids think adults act like. Like it was not good. First half was really, really bad. Second half was okay. Heather sucks. I hate her and she's barely a character in the film. I deplore her. Like, gross. Mikey was the best. The president didn't know how to bowl. There was a metaphor with a 7-10 split which cracked me up. And this is not the first movie to deal with a president in the storyline. Um, and I'd say it's probably one of the weaker ones. The ones I can think of are First Kid, My Date with the President's Daughter, this. I feel like there's another one. But those are the ones I can think of like in the mo more recent times. First Kid was good. Not, I mean, not fantastic, but it was less about the president and more about the kid and his bond with the Secret Service agent and finding a dad in him instead of the president and stuff like that. And then My Date with the President's Daughter was also less about the president, but was also better than this, I would say. This had much more of the president in it, of the movies they've made about having the president in the film. But I do see a theme here. So I'm wondering if we'll run into some more president movies. That's everything for Mail to the Chief. Uh, it was pretty decent. I mean, like, it, but not. Does that make any sense? Like, it was super cringe in the first half, second half was fine. I liked Kenny. I think Bill Switzer kind of carried the through line here. Um, President was 
the president. And I loved Mikey. He was a good character. The parents were whatever. So with all that being said, my final rating is going to be four olive branches. <laughs> Ten. Our total movie count is... Parent Death and Crack Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon this month on Patreon. The tier you are currently subscribed to is going to get the, some of the benefits of the tier above it. That is the gift to Patreon this month. So if you're on the $1 tier, you're going to start getting access to the community chat, which you normally don't have access to. If you're on... The next tier, the well, it's Pluto, and then if you're on the Goofy tier, you're gonna get access to some bonus content. If you're on the Donald tier, you're gonna get postcards and some access to some other stuff. If you're on the Mini tier, you're gonna get access to the private vlog that's coming out this month for the Mickey patrons, and it is. And if you're on the Mickey tier, I'm gonna send you one more piece of free merch. So go freaking subscribe to Patreon. This month is the month to do the dang thing. So go on over there. So much is coming out over there. The weekly blogs are coming out. The monthly podcast is coming out. Let's just head over to Patreon because everybody is getting some benefits from the tier above it. Buy merch. There's new merch and it is limited edition. Go get it. It is celebration month. I am so excited. This merch is sick. Shout out to Haley for designing it. You're amazing. I love you and I miss you and I hope you're doing well. Even though I saw you two days ago. <laughs> but like, oh, I also saw you two days ago now. <sighs> Whoa, that's trippy. Cool. Anyway, um, go buy merch. That's it. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm gonna try to view our CD and don't be Kenny's no Heather! <gasps> don't be Heather about it for the love of God, don't be Heather about it. It's celebration month. It's celebration month. It's celebration month. Boop 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 boop. Why did I just go into that song? Celebration month. It's celebration month. Dee 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 dee. It's celebration month. Dee 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 dee. <laughs>